Hi guys, it's Kevin and Matthew here from Made at 94 and this video is all about your wedding cake and not just that but your relationship with your cake designer as well. So I've got the lovely Pippa from Pippa's Kitchen, um, amazing work which you're about to see uh, in some of the photographs as well but we've got some key questions on this little uh, piece of pad here and I'm just going to fire off, alright? So the first question I've got is um, do you deliver the cake to your... Always. Absolutely. I wouldn't put the stress on anyone. It's far too stressful for me to deliver it. And so I wouldn't ever dream of asking someone to come and pick it up. So you will deliver all the time? Always. Yeah. And is that the norm? Generally, yes. I mean, sometimes um, people ask to come and pick it up mm -hmm. if, you know, if they're going off far away, and that's fine. Yeah. Um, but generally, I will go and pick it up. And if they pick it up, it, do they have to do any... The, they get the cake, mm -hmm. do they have to sign anything? Yes. <laughs> it's not my responsibility if they pick it up and then yeah. it falls apart in the back of the car. That's Yeah, so not... they'll sign a waiver? Absolutely, yes. That's and right. also when I go to the venue, the venue will sign a waiver that I set it up perfectly for them and left it in good condition. Brilliant, excellent. Um, and does that copy get given to the...? Yeah, I keep copy and they keep copy. Lovely, perfect. And what's... this is just a... a for people who are in Moneyfeet and Dundee and Perth, etc., what's your radius for the weather? I'll go all over Scotland. It's uh, based okay. on uh, mileage, really. Um, if you're willing to pay the mileage, yeah. you're happy to deliver it. So basically, the cost of the cake would be the same, and the, the, the mileage would be there yeah. on top of that. Yeah. Okay. And is there any? Is it free to a certain point, or? Uh, no, it's it's generally generally about twenty five pounds. But it's kind of included in your in the cost because anyway. I go and deliver it and set it up. So right. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. And is that the standard as well that you know of? Not that I know of, no. I, I, I do what I do and other people do what they do. Okay, so. got you. Um, and then an important one, I suppose, for, for me would be the tasting session. Yes. Um, so I've got here, do they do a tasting session, then choose a design, or vice versa, or what happens? What, what's the, the norm? Uh, so I've got a tasting sample box coming up next month. I've seen that looks unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> so you get five flavours of cake yeah. and two portions of each flavour. Yeah. Uh, it's 15 pounds a box and then you can take it away. Yeah. Um, you know, there's nothing worse than when I start asking questions and you've got a mouthful of cake and you need yeah, to you want it just, yeah. So they take it away and um, they come back to me with what mm. flavours they like and if they want to go ahead and order a cake. And what, from your experience, would somebody else do? What would another cake designer do? What is the kind of norm for the industry because you're going above and beyond. I mean, that sampling box is beautiful, it looks beautiful, and um, the packaging and everything to go with it. But what would the um, the person behind the screen there, what would they be um, used to? What should they come into? Does that make sense? Yeah, um, well, a lot, of, a lot of people I know do a sample box, right? Um, either when you've already booked the cake or um, just to get an idea if they, you know. Sometimes you need to try it before you think, oh, okay, that's yeah. that's the person I want to make the cake. Purely on taste. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've had um, I've had families, the whole family, come in once, and they were really sort of dissecting the cake and going through it, and you know, really yeah, felt yeah. like I was on MasterChef. <laughs> it was that bad. Um, but yeah, they, so you go home and you taste it, um, and sometimes people stay here and they taste it and they talk about what they want. Right. With okay. Their yeah. Yeah. So they'll pay the fifty quid, which is very that's very reasonable, and then they'll head off. And there's that set. There's no contractual agreement there. Or whatever. No, yeah. no yeah. if they want to book me, they'll go ahead. And if they don't, as long as they've paid for the book box, that's fine. So while we're on the subject of tasting, then, and I've just got here design, mm -hmm. they'll book a deposit. Would that be normal? You can save the date with a deposit. A fifty pound deposit. You yeah. can save your date mm -hmm. if you know you want me. Yeah. Um. Otherwise, you can just. I'll keep the. If you've had a tasting box, I'll keep that date free for a week. Okay, that's good. And then, um, if it, no one comes back to me within a week, then it's released again. I've got another question. Um, it's not on here. How many weddings would a, a cake maker, not just you, mm -hmm. a cake designer, be able to do in a day then? What, what would, I mean, for Saturday the 25th? Yeah. How many clients could you have? Or would you have? I wouldn't take more than two. Okay. But that's me. I, right. I, I want to make sure I've got those, those cakes absolutely perfect. And it depends how, if it's a, if one's being delivered up to Glen Clover and one's down here, that's, yeah. that's feasible. If one's in Glen Clover and one's in, I don't know, Stirling, I can't, I can't do both. So generally, I'm one cake a, a weekend or one cake a day. Right. Um, but if it's a close, if the venues are close, then I can do two. You do two. Yeah. And so basically, because I've got, it might not be in here, but for example, for your photographer, you've got one photographer. Mm -hmm. 
for your makeup artist, you've normally got one yeah. makeup artist that you, so you have to get that day. Yeah. So it's just kind of the same for cake Pretty much, yeah. Cake designers. So if you know you want me, you need to book me. Yeah, yeah. exactly, because it's one of you. That's me. Exactly, right, <laughs> perfect, good. Um, so they've taken it away, they've liked what they've, they've kind of um, tasted. Mm -hmm. So you sit down with a couple, how does the consultation work? Yeah, um, so it's totally up to the bride. If they want to come back and mm. sit and talk to me, that's absolutely fine, I have people do that. Other people are quite happy just to do it by email yeah. or on Facebook, um, just really however they want to do it. Sometimes they have loads of ideas and they need to come and talk to me about them, and yeah. that's fine. Okay, and I'm going to skip a, a question mm -hmm. here. I'm going to go down to what advice would you give to the couples before they come to you? So they've chosen you or they've chosen the cake designer because um, we, we use Pinterest a lot, mm -hmm. for example. Um, what would you recommend that they, that they know? What's the best thing for them they to know? They need to know what the budget is. That really helps me because yeah. if you want hundreds and hundreds of flowers yet you've only got 200 pounds to spend yeah. you can't Thank you, you can't do that yeah um color theme is a good yeah is good to know if you've got ideas that you definitely want that's mm -hmm. always helpful um number of portions because then i can work out that's your starting price you can work out what size how many tiers of cake you need so, oh, that's good. so if you're 120 yeah. people you know you need a three-tier cake got you got you so 120 people would be a three-tier cake mm -hmm. what would be a two-tier cake then uh six feet 60. Yeah. And do you ever have single? Some people do. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I haven't really done any single tier. Oh, no, I did actually. I did do a single tier wedding when I first started out. What's the norm? Um, probably three. Three tiers long. Yeah. Three to four. Oh, that's a nice tier actually. How do you get the best out of you? How do they get the best out of you? That's the question. How do they get the best out of you? Giving me as much information as possible. Okay. Um, Give me examples of information then. So colours. Um, colours, yeah. Colours, cost. Cost. Um, type of flowers they're having in the bouquet. Yeah. Um, fancy, non-fancy. Yeah, they like sparkles and bling. Yeah. If they want bling yeah. and classic and elegant. Um, yeah, just being. Images. Do you like images? I like to see pictures of what they want. Yeah. Um, and then I can work to that. You don't generally there's a sort of unwritten rule. You don't tend to copy another cake no, maker's no, work. No, no. Or if you do, no. you get in touch with the cake maker and ask them if, it, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they wouldn't give you, you're not advising for them to go away and have a look at cakes, you're advising them to say, well actually my bridesmaids are in this, mm -hmm. this is the theme of yeah. this, there's lots of lace, there's lots yeah, of glitter, exactly. there's lots of glam, exactly, yeah. it's uh, rustic, mm -hmm. that's, that's exactly it. Okay. Yeah. Right, that, see I didn't know that. <laughs> um, what, yeah, this is a good, that was a Sam question actually, What? what if the couple wanted like a large cake, but have low numbers? Yeah, that's fine. So uh, all of these cakes, they're all fake. So Look at that. Uh, you can have, if you wanted this and this as a real cake, that could be fake. So they're just polystyrene tears covered in fondant, oh, decorated the same way. Um, so basically it looks big, but it it's big, not all yeah. the same. Then it gets taken back and, and yeah. the real cake's chopped up. Yeah, so I've got a bride this year who's having a two-tier cake with a third fake one on the bottom. Nice, mm. nice. And then this is a good one because so they've they've booked you mm -hmm. because they know that you've you've got one day mm -hmm. and they've booked you and it's um it's eighteen months in advance, right? So yeah. they're really prepared. When do you need the kind of final right? This is the information I need because I'm I, I need to start on it. Now. Yeah, so it's uh three months before changes can be made three months up to three months before the wedding day. Right. So because generally I'll start making flowers and things and getting all my materials in yeah. that I need. Yeah. So there's a cut off deadline twelve weeks, three months yeah. before. Yeah. Is that the norm or is that you? Uh, that's just me. It could yeah. Be the norm. I haven't really asked anybody, but that's, right, that's okay. what I like to do. Okay. Yeah. So so generally, so you you yeah. So three months and then after that date, there's no changes to no be changes, made. No. Perfect. Is there anything I have missed? Because that was very thorough. That was good. If there's anything that I've missed about um, the information for the, the couples or venues or any little tips of genius that, mm. they, that can make their cake the best it could be. Cake stands. I don't hire them out, Ooh. but venues tend to have a pretty bashed, dented, Overused. silver plastic cake stand mm. and it just looks awful so if you can get a cake stand get one from gotcha. amazon or 
hobby craft. They're not expensive because we've not really. looked at them. Yeah. Some of them, the, the Mossa glass ones at the back, they're about sixty-five pounds. So I mean, like, yeah. you can easily sell them on. Yes. But then yes. the other ones are, you know, lake with plastics. Yeah. And they'll they'll look they'll do the part. Yeah. 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 That's a good one. So don't trust your venue or go to your venue and ask to see it. Mm. And if you're happy with it, then go with it. If not, it also depends on what style as well. Because yeah. if you're rustic, you know, the venue, most venues won't have, well, I don't know, they might have a log slice, I suppose. Yeah, some of them, a lot, yeah. of, them, a lot of them have to be bought in. So. Ah, do they? Yeah. Right. A and bride that's buying her log stand. So, yeah. But you'll advise your bride yes. or your groom? Yeah. To, yeah. To, so if you haven't been advised by any designer that you've been with, go to the venue, have a look, because mm. that's pretty much... That's visual. Yeah. That's what you're seeing. Yeah. Good one. Anything else? No? That was brilliant. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, thank you. And um, below here as well, you're going to get some information. If you are local to Munifee, Dundee, Perth or Scotland, as we, we've said, um, you're going to see details on Pippa's Kitchen, award winning, which I'm going to um, see finalists and confetti awards. And you, you know, we've not got any of them yet. So. <laughs> We will, but uh, and also details on Made at 94 and uh, for things like your cake toppers, good one, place names, and um, signage, etc. 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 Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm.